All right, was it a mistake or was it not? I'm gonna start the video by saying it's 2023, it's December something of 2023. We bought this house in December, but it's 200 years old, technically 190, 90 some, but 200 years old sounds a lot cooler. It has this old wrought iron fence that's original to the house. It has the, uh, I'm actually just re or seeing this, Springfield Agricultural Iron Works. That's kind of cool. But it has this iron fence uh, that's original to the house because it's referenced in the deed of the house. It was built in 1833 and it needs some work. It's a brick house, chimney is a little leany. It's actually a lot of a bit leany now that I'm looking at it. That needs some attention, which is stuff I know about. Um, it's built on limestone foundation. The fence comes up a bit, the driveway. It's on about an acre, not an acre, a, a little less than half an acre. Um, has a side door here that doesn't open. I'm sure it would with a little bit of work, but doesn't open currently. Um, it's got a back porch. It's got a 30 by 40 heated and insulated garage. It's got an enclosed screened in back porch and don't really know the story on this. It's like a patio. There was like a wading pool underneath of it. They filled in with rocks. I'm sure we're going to rip this out at some point and then figure out what's underneath of it. There used to be a shed right there. They tore down the shed when they, uh, there was a cistern beside it and some trees. They tore that down and now it's just like a raised garden bed, which I think is kind of cool. We're gonna go out to the garage. It has this uh, these pavers that are all cracked to crap. I think it needs just a normal poured sidewalk. But it's gravel. It's got a nice slab in the garage. I haven't measured it to see how thick it is or see if it has rebar in it. That would be kind of cool for like maybe a car lift or something at one point in time. It has insulation, just some the basicest insulation you can get, but insulation nonetheless. Uh, insulated doors. Um, up there, there's a piece of insulation missing. And you can kind of see a sheet of OSB up there. I don't know if you can see it, but I need to go to the ladder and see how much storage is actually up there. I got the heater, which I think, I don't even know what, how many BTU it is. Uh, enough, definitely overkill for this garage. 100 amp service out here. It's not a Simmons panel, I don't think. It might be, no, it's not. But we got gas, no water. But it's general switch. I don't know. But I have a Simmons panel that I want to put want to put underneath or in here. But that goes back to the future plans for this house. This garage faces south. And facing south, at least where I'm living here in Ohio, that's where you want to put your solar panels. No real trees to speak of. I mean a little bit. But a southern facing garage, 40 foot long. I think we can put a whole bunch of panels up there on the on the roof and not have too much issue with uh, cloud coverage. We could even put some probably on the back of the house if we wanted, but that should be plenty enough. Um, our city's about to start accepting feedback, so that way you can get paid or credited towards your electric bill to feed back into the grid. So that would be really cool. But we're going to go into the house, actually. This was just put up, I'm assuming for insurance reasons, uh, sell the house it's very sketch there's a screened in back porch this is not climate controlled in any way it's just a literally a porch with a roof ceiling fan air flows through here um being a 200 year old house the power I was a little concerned about but it was recently redone all the power well not redone i think just added but uh the breaker box is 200 amp service then you have 100 amps out to the garage uh so that's that's good to see all the cables run underneath the house because as i'll show you here in a minute you can't run it through the walls when the walls are solid brick so here is the back of the house the back door used to be there i'll get into that more here in a second but let's go into the house first thing you step into is the kitchen came with all the appliances uh they rented this house for a little while um uh, but they're decent cabinets that are made out of wood, not all pressed board. Um, microwave there, or microwave spot there is the only thing we don't have. Get into that in a future video. But, you know, just old house stuff. Fake floors. It's just the snap together things. 
hot water tank, stuff like that in the pantry here. This I would like to put a tankless one in and, you know, remove all of this, but we'll get to that. So the first room after the kitchen is the dining room. There's a fireplace that's been sealed up. Uh, it'd be the first of the three fireplaces in here. Um, the house being 200 years old and being built on uh, limestone or sandstone or whatever it's built on the blocks uh, settles a lot. Uh, you really can't tell from the video, but for instance, this bathroom door, you can see that it's touching the carpet. Now it's not touching the carpet. So there is some levelness issues. The walls have their imperfections. They're not straight. It's hard to tell on camera, but they're just not straight. But this is one of those things with plaster walls, like solid brick walls. You, you're not moving those. And if you do start to move those, you're gonna open a can of worms. Half the wall's gonna move, it's just gonna crumble all apart. So the walls, are where they're going to be unless someone else tells me different but this is just my uh first assumptions but the walls that's where they're going to be and as far as the floors that are really sloped and the crawl space is almost non-existent if anything we'll cut the floors all out all the way down to the dirt re-put in joists subfloor uh new uh some new footers to hold the joists up and do uh, hardwood floor through the whole house that's the current plan but for right now it's perfectly fine so this is the living room uh, we've had the house for like a week or so and we've moved in obviously the first thing was a Christmas tree but we've been hanging out here got a couch brought the TV over we've had a few friends over like you know it's a cool place to hang out and it's real close to my parents so we've been able to like you know live here just hang out here and have a place to sleep somewhere else. But uh, this is the living room. The floors in here have been not redone. They've been, the carpet is all brand new, but before they put the carpet in, they put new subfloor down just to make it a little more solid. Uh, the floors are sagging in here, but they've, you know, fixed a little bit of that. And they're pretty solid, like you can jump. And it, not a lot moves. I mean, moves, but not a lot. Also, the solid brick walls in here, Solid brick walls, built-ins, nothing much to say here. Uh, back to the outlets. There's no outlets on any of the walls. They're all on the floor. So all of the electrical through the whole house is, or at least on the first floor, is all on the floor because you're not going to run it up the wall. It's solid walls. And same with the, uh, the HVAC. That is the good thing. This house does have HVAC, like as far as heating and cooling. This is the front foyer comes in from the front porch there you know you walked in you used to be able to go right all the way back through out to that back door we talked about but they've closed that in for a bathroom and b right there is where the uh the furnace is the return air vents up there on top um and just on the other side of this i think it's a drywall is the other side of the furnace which i'll show you in a second the stairway is skinny and steep the handrail is uh, there, to say the least, I guess. But moving on, this is technically another bedroom, and that's the third and final fireplace, also sealed up. This room has a lot of built-ins. It's kind of a cool room. We've been calling it the den because I don't know if anybody would want to have a bedroom here. Uh, it's just a weird spot. Um, one of the first things I did was replace the uh, crappy thermostat with a... A Wi-Fi thermostat um, it was to save money a and to B whenever we'll come over here we can turn on the heat before we get here so that way it, you know it works just an Alexa Black Friday deal so just another closet here this technically makes it a bedroom storage up there that I don't even know if I've opened yet um, there's gas lines all over the place which I'll show you more but here's one of them so we're thinking about maybe turning it opening up a couple of these fireplaces and putting in either like a built-in or like gas logs or something because um, there's gas everywhere in this house this is the final room downstairs we're calling this the craft room um it's the floors in this room are the worst i mean obviously you can't feel them as i walk around but there's soft spots everywhere uh there's places that you can feel where they've put patches and things but 
This is where the uh, washer and dryer goes, apparently. I don't know why they put carpet in here, but whatever. So there's a false wall here, but it just goes back. It's like six inches in front of that concrete wall. So that way that they could, uh, you know, have a, a place for the wires and stuff to go. And I don't know why they just didn't put the power in the wall, but an electric dryer, there's no gas ran here for the dryer yet, but we got an electric dryer out there for free. So that's cool. These window seals kind of deep, kind of cool. This is that door outside that doesn't open apparently. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's just painted shut or if it's nailed shut or what, but we'll eventually get this. These single pane glass windows are not great for efficiency, so we're going to be replacing these doors probably. I don't know yet. We're going to do something with the doors, um, especially just to be able to make them lock is the main thing. Um, now this is like the hallway that used to come through the foyer and out the back door. So the front door is that way. The back door that we looked at is there. But here's the shower, which is kind of weird. Um, that's the shower. And then this is the bathroom. This bathroom kind of has a, a door here. So like a door you can go into the bathroom. And be in the bathroom here. And then the shower is just kind of in the hallway. Now there's doors here and here, but it's just, just a weird setup. And I don't know what's behind that. We'll have to pull that out. But this is the worst part of the house. It's very unlevel. Uh, it's settled a bit. Just it's not great. Like there's a soft spot there. You know, the caulking is horrible in this insert. But the plan is to gut this entire thing. I mean, even as early as next week was where we have everything to do it. We're going to get all of this out, remove this wall. Cause I think this right here is not, I don't think this needs to be here, but we'll check because technically the staircase landing is up there somewhere, but we're going to do with what we can see what we can do about relocating these pipes. That's the washer and dryer stuff that goes through the wall. We're going to see what we can do with that. Um, but this is the first project that we're going to go and do. Gut all this out all the way down to the dirt. Lift up the floor, make it level, secure it. Do some self-leveling concrete, heated floor in that, tile the floor, new vanity. This is, see, you can't even open that all the way. This is the other side of the furnace. Um, I don't think this door really needs to be here. Yes, if you ever want to remove this furnace, this door would have to be here. So you can pull the furnace out this way. But you could also do it on the other side beside the staircase. Um, so I'm thinking about walling this up. I mean, obviously just fixing everything and getting everything right before I wall it up. And then this is the uh, condenser drain. I need to figure something out with that. I'm not sure if this needs to be here. It probably does. But figure something out with that. Because here's the closet. And here inside the closet, this is where you access the, all the furnace stuff. You have all your lines that go down, your power, your gas. You pop this off, all your controls and uh, all the panels. All the air intakes and exhaust is all here. So really, there's really no need to be have side access to this. I mean, it would be nice, but I'd rather have a, a bathroom than that. And then the, on the odd case, I do need to take this out of here. It might come out this way, maybe. I don't know. But it was also put in three years ago, so we don't plan to live here for very long. It could be the next guy's problem. <laughs> but honestly, this piece of drywall, we might just have to rip that out if we ever have to replace the furnace and then replace the drywall out there. Little problem to have. It does have air conditioning. Haven't tested it or anything yet. It's been freezing cold outside. Um, but that's that's the downstairs. So there's the kitchen. I'm going back through the living room. We're going to go upstairs now. All the carpet's new down here. I don't know if I've said that or not. Carpet on the stairs is new. Handrail needs replaced. So when you get up to the top of the stairs, there's a light. This little door goes out above like the porch and the roof line. Needs a little bit of love. It's crap in here. I need to go through all this. Kind of creepy to be honest. So there's power out there. 
and stuff like that. Cardboard. I don't know. Uh, there's. So here's the bedroom, or one another bedroom. This one's gonna be ours. Um, here is the closet for this bedroom. The one thing is there's no heat or air upstairs because being solid brick house, there was no places for that to come up here um, unless they wanted to like do, be kind of intrusive. So there's no air conditioning or heat up here. However, there's gas in every bedroom or both bedrooms up here. So we might do some sort of gas heat um, temporarily, but we're gonna do those ceiling mount cassette mini splits for both rooms and that will solve our, uh, our heating and cooling issue. But for now we're just dealing with it. But the carpet up here is not new. Um, the reason there's a dehumidifier is we just uh, cleaned the carpets with the carpet cleaner the other day just to make sure it was clean. Um, we got a mattress, purple one. My uh, dad bought that for us, so shout out to him for that. Um, these mattresses are expensive, but worth every penny. Oh my gosh, it's a comfortable mattress. But, so we have the, this is our master bedroom, I guess. They're both the same size. Then here's the other bedroom. It has these horrendous built-ins, which I've been using to hold my crap. First thing we had is get, it was get internet. We've got Spectrum internet, 500 gig down. Uh, we have the, the Deco uh, mesh Wi-Fi routers. Uh, those are pretty cool. They, they're wireless. There's one in the kitchen. There's the master one here, and I have one out in the garage. So and they all connect perfectly. Garage one's a little slow, but that is what it is. This is some more crappy shelves. We got some windows. Nice view of the town. Uh, they had fireworks last night for, I guess, the Christmas tree lighting. See them perfectly here. We also used the rug doctor in here. Um, I think this was like a child's room of some sort because there's some stains on the floor that didn't quite come out. And there was a lot more stains in here than the other room. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, there was another attic access here for the back half of the house. This one's sometimes hard to get open. It opened up. It goes and you can kind of, you can't see a thing, but it, if you really were uh, needing to get back there, I think you can get all the way back to above the porch. So if we ever need to run any more wires and stuff from like electricity, that's a good spot to go. So yeah, I think that concludes the whole house. Uh, I just wanted to do this video, just walking through everything and really a before and after so we can kind of for my personal record so we can look back and see what we've changed here's the hallway um so yeah um like i said a little bit at the times is we're gonna be doing the hvac upstairs as far as the mini split we're gonna do solar panels on the garage uh probably leveling the floor doing the bathroom uh, the floor loving will be later, but the bathroom for sure here soon. And then uh, just kind of making it more of a modern house as far as being more efficient and things like that. So if you want to follow us along and see how this turns out or see us fail completely, um, remember to subscribe and wish us luck. Uh, the first thing, another thing we've got to do is the kitchen floor is about to fall off the joist under the house. Um, so... One of the next videos is going to be that as well. They actually took some money off the house so we can jack the floor up and support that side so that way it doesn't... So it's hanging on like by an inch. But yeah, like, subscribe, and watch us either fail or be successful at remodeling this house. So thanks for watching.